Welcome everyone to Diamond Night Raw. We have a bunch of banger matches for you guys, but guys, don't worry about what's gonna happen. Cause guys, we already did one match, but don't worry, it was not one of those matches. There was like five or six cars on here, and there was way too many, so I had to put one out. So, anyways, let's get on with our very first match, guys. The normal one-on-one -on -one match to kick off the Diamond Night Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Sin City. Weighing 291 pounds. Right back. Ryback right gotta be careful because if he uses that table, that's a no disqualification. Now let's bring out his opponent. And his opponent from Sega, weighing a 119 pounds, Tails. Now, guys, let's get on with this man. Okay, let's try to go for the cover here. a referee because why it's because I'm not going to control tails I am not going to control Ryback it's just a one on one and don't worry I will call this match down the middle guys except instead of calling the match down the middle I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to get rid of this table because why because it's a no DQ guys it's a one match it's just a one fall match at least I am trying to be at least a good referee and that means to get one of these guys fucking disqualified uh, Go oh, break! Break it, Tails! Break it! Oh shit! Damn, Tails is reversing everything! Right now, Tails is. Oh shit! Damn, Ryback, right you really gonna let Tails disrespect you like that in front of the Diamond Wolves? Dude, you're the monster, man! Oh my god, I swear. If Ryback right loses to Miles Tails per hour from Sonic, I swear, we're all gonna be in shock. Oh, it's right back with the Lucas press. Here's the cover. One. Oh. I mean, well, Tails might have too much health, I think. I think, yeah, Tails got all. Oh, that is no, that is no good for Ryback. Tails does got a lot of health. And Tails is right almost with his finisher. Well, with that side hand lock. And now he's going, oh. Yeah, sometimes guys, when I'm trying to check for their submission, the fucking T button don't fucking work. Because the referee, because the T is awful, so for taunting and checking for the submission and panning. It's like in a three ways of fucking with the T. Oh, my back. You got it in the corner at least. Go break. That's one thing that Matt Dickey forgot to add in. Like, when the, um, in real WWE, the people pushes their opponents towards the corner and they got like a five count to, like, Get up, get him away from the corner. That's one thing that Matt Dickey forgot to add in, and that, and also he forgot to add replays and stuff. Right now, Tails with a slingshot. We haven't seen him kind of. Oh, now he's using his fist. Right after that zero. Oh wait, yeah. Tails, oh, 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 Tails breaking. Oh shit, Tails. He's got his finisher. Oh, he missed the leg drop. Oh, can Tails get his finisher? Oh, and his finisher went away. That's the one. Wait, what the fuck? Goldberg? What the fuck is Goldberg doing here? Is he here for Tails or is he for... Oh, my God. He's here for Ryback. Who did he just punch? Oh, my God. Where's the... Lost to Ryback in a DQ match. Now, guys, here's what just happened. I had to simulate the match because 
That's another thing that Matt Dickey don't have. And that is disqualifications in this match when people goes and interferes the match. He needs to add that one day. But anyways, let's get on with our next match. I know you guys didn't want to see that, but trust me. Want just trust me on this, guys. I did not have anything to do with that. Goba came out of nowhere and then just beat the hell out of fucking Goba. Uh, I mean, well, right back. But guys, let's get on to our next contestant with... This match, Ezra Soul versus the Big Red Monster Kane in a no disqualification match. Now, this match I am not gonna resolve or simulate because there are no counts and there's no disqualification. This was just a normal match. So, anyways, let's get into the next match, ladies and gentlemen, which is Ezra Soul versus the Big Red Monster Kane. Next match, ladies and gentlemen. The first match is for Pitfall. The following contest is a no disqualification match. The only way to win is by Pitfall submission. There are no counts and there are no disqualifications. I just want to let everybody know this is not the big red monster version of Kane. This is the corporate Kane. Because I knew Matt Dickey because Matt Dickey didn't add mass that time. But will Kane in the root of all evil as we saw? We're going to find out. Let's get it, boys. And I'm playing as Tony Lynn once again, guys. You know what? Uh, we're going to call this group. I got to watch out for infinite bags. Because right now, guys, we got infinite bass right there outside the corner. So I gotta watch out for infinite bass. By the way, that's what his name is, guys. Right there, infinite bass. Oh, damn, what happened to Ezra Soul? He's. Oh, I think he got hurt in the ribs. Right in the ribs. Yeah, he, got, he totally gets crazy. He's or something like that. Alright. Oh, oh, so slam! Oh, and another leg drop. Oh my god. King just delivered a choke. Oh no, now he's going for the Cesaro swing. Oh damn. He just hit a choke slam on Ezra Soul. Oh, Ezra Soul. Oh, I thought he was going to go to the top ball and hit a suplex. Oh no. Oh, I, can't, I can't check the time. Damn, this stupid damn thing won't let me check. But yeah, guys. He didn't tap yet because obviously Ezra. Oh shit, he's have. How the fuck does he have halfway help? Oh no, I gotta start counting. Oh no, it's no the disqualification. Anything go. So I have to hop off the side of the ring. But I'm still gonna watch out for Infinite Bass because if Infinite Bass gets involved, I know Ezra Soul's gonna get pissed. So I just hope we don't have another interference though. Oh, damn, a big boot to the face. Shit. Oh, no, Kane's got that choke slam ready. He already hit it at the beginning of the match. Oh, what the hell? What the fuck just happened? Oh, cover. One. Oh, Ezra kicks that lot one. Infinite best. Oh no, Kane's got the choke slam. Oh no, he's got the steel chair. Anything goes. It's no disqualification. Damn, these AIs are stupid, guys. Why would they just hit their fucking finisher? Oh, oh, that's a so counter the chairs. 
Is he gonna grab the chair? Nope. He's like, fuck it. I don't want no. Oh shit. He was gonna hit the Superman punch. Oh, MK. Oh, I forgot what that move was called. I think it was MKO. MDKO, I think. What the fuck? He just. I know anything is disqualification, but MMS, don't try to get involved in this match. Because my fans are right now pissed off after what happened earlier tonight. Which is Goldberg interfering, crossing tails. Well, at least we know all t we know Tails doesn't want no help, guys. Oh, can't run into them. Anything bad? Don't do it, man. Oh, this is fucking bastard. Fucking hit me with the fucking dumbbell. Dumbbell. Oh, Anthony Bass just hit Kane's on. He just hit Kane on accident with the bulldog. <laughs> oh no, Kane. Oh, and a. Gunwich suplex. Infinite Best was trying to hit Ezra's up, but he grabbed Kane on accident and hit him with a fucking bulldog. Oh, and a German suplex from Kane. Oh, Infinite Best was trying to get him up. Oh, shit. One. One. Just one. Damn it, I was trying to check. Oh, Kane just hit Infinite Best with a suplex. You fucking, you fucking idiot. I have a feeling that Kane and Infinite Bez are gonna explode like right now. They're gonna turn on each other because they keep accidentally hitting each other. Oh, and a DDT! One, two, three. Kane just beating Ezra Soul. Here is your winner, Kane! Kane just beating Ezra Soul in DCW Diamond Night Ball. In Wrestling Revolution. Damn. Okay, guys. Please comment down below. Was that a good count? Because look, I did one, two, three, and he did not kick out. Because, I mean, yeah, he got DDT in the fucking head with the dumbbell and the. Uh... Yeah. But, anyways, guys, let's get on with the segment. Let's go on with J Apex and let's see. What does he have to... Well, actually, guys. Therefore, since I don't know what Jay Apex has to say, I'm going to skip that part. And I'm going to give Apex a promo on his channel. And, yeah, guys. We're going to see what Apex has to say. Apex, you let me know what you have in store for DPW Diamond WrestleMania 1. You guys know. And go check out his channel. Because, Jay Apex, I'm letting you... Make a promo on your channel for DPW Diamond WrestleMania 1 on Wrestling Revolution. Yeah, look, Kane pin Ezra Soul in a frustration match. Well, guys, let's get into the next contest. Okay, guys, after what that just happened, we did another match, a random match. And, yeah, like I said, J Apex, you go ahead and do a promo on your channel about me for DPW Diamond WrestleMania 1. Since I can't do... DPW on Roblox, we're going to do it in Wrestling Revolution, okay? If you don't mind that. But anyways, guys, well, let's go to the second segment, which is me interviewing Carl Fowler for his match against Stone Cold Steve Austin at DPW WrestleMania 1, which will take place right here, over here. If you guys are wondering why I wanted to do DPW um, Diamond Knight Raw, it's because I was on here. We were in Los Angeles. By the way, yeah, guys, we're in New York. I don't know where the DPW on WrestleMania 1 will take place at, but we'll find out. But anyways, let's go to Carl Fowler and see what he has to say about Stone Cold Steve Austin. Wolf. So, Carl, on your opinion against Stone Cold Steve Austin at DPW Diamond Night Raw, how do you feel? Well, Thomas Diamond, I feel no series for Stone Cold Steve Austin, because he just called the wrong motherfucker a son of a bitch today. And how are you going to beat him? First, I'm going to hit him with my finishing move code breaker of Missouri, and then put my submission move on him called, the Choke of Faith. And Stone Cold Steve Austin, I know you're watching because you'd have made the worst mistake of your goddamn beer drinking fucking life, bitch. Wow. Guys, I guess Carl Diamond Wolf is ready. Well, guys, he needs to be ready. He's gonna be watching, and he's gonna probably be licking his chops. Because guess what? You guys won't believe, but don't worry, guys, you guys can see from the on time, you guys know what that means. You guys should guess who Thomas Donald Wolf's opponent is. But guys, let's just go ahead and bring him 
bring these guys out, and this is the main event. Thomas Owl's opponent. And his opponent, Book Selfie Texas, weighing in 252 pounds, the DPW Diamond Legendary Champion, Stone Cold Steve Austin. Will Stone Cold beat Thomas Diamond Wool? We're gonna figure out. But guys, let's get this main event right on. I know I'm playing as Stone Cold, but I won't. Let's get this main event started. Let's get this main event starting, guys. We don't know if Paul Down will be coming out here, but if he don't, then we'll see. But will Tom and I will get the job done for OG. Tom and I was not so cold. Hey guys, it's Thomas Diamond Wolf. He beat Stone Cold. Does that mean he might get a chance at the DPW Diamond Legendary Championship? But right now, this is not DPW Diamond WrestleMania, guys. This is DPW Diamond Diamond Wolf. Stone Cold getting Tom and Diamond Wolf. The can of Wolf back. Oh, it's Tom and Diamond Wolf with the hurry. Come on. Oh. One. Oh, sorry, Tom and Diamond Wolf. Guys, I was also commentating. It's also kind of hard to commentate and pan at the same time. But don't worry, I'll try to pan something. By the way, Stone Cold's help is that, yeah, his help is, yeah, his, yeah, so, yeah, you guys can't blame me, okay? When your help is, like, a little higher, then, yeah, you have an easy chance to kick out a lot faster. That's if you're only stunned, though. Oh, Tom is on the wall. Wait, oh, oh, and what a nice counter by Stone Cold. Stone Cold trying to go for the cover too. One. Two. Oh, wow, oh, oh, that was a one and a half. Oh, oh, Tommy Cole on the side back right here. Well, Tommy Diamond B is a pin to DP WWE Diamond Extension. Oh, and oh, Stone Cold taking Tommy Diamond Wolf on the outside. And yes, guys, this also is the same match. Tonight, by on the side back. Oh, you guys can't hit from the outside, guys. This is not a no disqualification match in a false game. Yo, no, Stone Cold, don't use the belt. Go, Stone Cold, go, Stone Cold! Here is your winner by disqualification, Thomas Diamond Wolf. Stone Cold just used the World Championship belt. Ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did not just saw that, you guys might need to go and rewatch that. Because Stone Cold just really just used the DPW Diamond Legendary Championship belt on Thomas Diamond Wolf. Giving Thomas Diamond Wolf the victory. Guys, I don't know why Stone Cold did that. I think that's giving him, trying to send a message to call Fowler. Oh my god. Well guys, that is it. Guys. Yeah, Thomas Diamond Wolf got lucky because... He probably knew if he was not going to beat Stone Cold, but Stone Cold just used the damn DPW Diamond Legendary Championship. Well, guys, probably right now, Cole, excuse me, Cole Diamond Wolf is probably backstage laughing his guts off and licking his chops after what just happened. Stone Cold getting himself disqualified by using the championship. Well, Diamond Wolf, that is all for today of DPW Diamond Night Wall. Stick until Friday because, well actually no, come Thursday will be the pay-per-view. This Thursday will be the pay-per-view. Well actually, you know what guys, just to be a little nice, because come Thursday or Friday, not only do I have to do the live stream, but I also got to do DPW Diamond Smackdown. So come Tuesday will be DPW Diamond Wrestlemania. So J Apex, make sure you get your 
promo ready and shit and stuff. And guys, thank you guys so much for watching for the very first episode of DPW Diamond Night Raw. And guys, while in a few days, I'm gonna try to make some more characters to come and deep um debut in DPW. But anyways, that's all for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like, subscribe, and until next time, guys. Thank you guys for much for watching. Good night.